Yo, my free city bros. Who would have known that these fan favorite scenes in Free Guy weren't part of the script? What? We fell in love with Ryan Reynolds' smash hit action comedy, Free Guy, and the exciting world it created. And a large part of that is thanks to Reynolds and Sean Levy. And I guess that means I play Guy. Reynolds has proven himself to have a knack for improv in his films, and once again, there was plenty of improvisation incorporated on the set of Free Guy. Spoilers for Free Guy are up ahead. Blue shirt. Yes. One of the comedic highlights of Free Guy is when it's revealed that one of the initial bank robbers in the game happens to be a preteen girl and her younger sister behind the keyboard. The scene was actually added after the film had wrapped shooting and came from the lovable, snarky mind of Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds pitched the idea to director Sean Levy, who then got his two daughters to film the scene in their bedroom. It was a moment that certainly paid off. That man is dead! He's so sleepy. Taika Waititi is a comedy force of nature, and the cast and crew got to experience even more of Taika's charm. Here's the thing, when I said that, I was lying. Sean Levy revealed that there was hours of footage of YTT going off on rants in character as the villainous Antoine. Of course, working with that much footage, most of it went onto the cutting room floor. Levy absolutely loved having YTT's energy on set. The great thing about him is he's so loose and he's so experimental that he'll just try jokes, knowing most of them won't work, but never being embarrassed to try. Perhaps we'll get to see some more of Taika's freestyle rant in the special features. Why would I do that when I can make a sequel? One of the best lines in the movie comes in Antoine's rant about sticking to IP and making sequels, Albuquerque Boiled Turkey. Why would I make another restaurant called, uh, I don't know, Albuquerque Boiled Turkey? This line was actually improvised by Taika YTT, and the cast and crew loved the phrase so much that it gave them inspiration for the sequel. Both Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy agree that they want the sequel, if it were to happen, to be titled Albuquerque Boiled Turkey. We couldn't agree more. One of the most bittersweet moments in Free Guy was the cameo appearance of the late host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Levy revealed that Trebek was added into the film during post-production. Reynolds, who had previously contributed to the beloved game show, had simply called Trebek to see if he was interested in filming a cameo, which he happily accepted. Jeopardy here and there over the years, um, and we asked him and he said yes. Channing Tatum's cameo was particularly amusing in Free Guy, but the payoff reveal may have been even better. The reveal that the player behind Tatum is actually an acne-laced 23-year-old freeloader living with his mother was another scene that was not in the script and that was added in post. Levy shot the scene in an abandoned office on a Saturday afternoon using a red camera. The studio even asked Levy if he wanted to reshoot the scene, but he declined, thinking it was perfect as is. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. While Joe Keery had a blast on set of Free Guy, he always had felt intimidated by Taika Waititi's ability at improv. Keery didn't have as much experience at improv, but was certainly willing to give it a try. I don't think I'm an improv savant necessarily, but I can hold my own. Though during one of the scenes he shot with YTT, he was able to make the comedian laugh with one of his lines. Kiri felt like he had made a personal victory, and it felt so good. So we could make it better? Free Guy boasts several popular streamer personalities, such as Jacksepticeye, Ninja, Pokemon, and Dan TDM, who appeared throughout the film as themselves. The streamers were only given a vague outline on what was happening in the film and were told to act as themselves. What made the streamers even more at ease was the fact that they were able to film at home and gave them even more opportunities to portray their respected personalities on screen. I've never seen anything like this. Free Guy was filmed right around the time of the Fox-Disney merger, which allowed Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds to add things that weren't originally in the script. The Star Wars and Marvel cameos during the Guy and Dude showdown was one of those last-minute, from-the-moment inclusions. Levy and Reynolds also wrote a letter to Disney, asking if they could use items from the iconic franchises, and the studio was happy to oblige, which led to one of the film's biggest crowd-pleasing moments. Ryan Reynolds didn't just improvise as the titular blue shirt-wearing hero, but he also had the chance to freestyle as Guy's hulking double dude. While bodybuilder Aaron W. Reed served as the body double, Reynolds' face was digitally added to Reed's in post-production. During the process, Reynolds was able to perform improv and play around as dude, particularly in the final showdown, which he clearly had a blast with. 
Once Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds were given the okay to incorporate the Marvel and Star Wars pop-ups in the film, they had another brilliant idea in the span of a day. The two had an idea for a cameo that would feature Captain America himself, Chris Evans, who just so happened to also be filming a project in Boston. Reynolds called Evans for a quick favor, and once he arrived, it was all done within 10 minutes. The Avengers have to help each other out, after all. Apparently, Chris Hemsworth wasn't camera ready, at least that is what Evans told Reynolds. The unabashed anthem of Free Guy is clearly Mariah Carey's hit song Fantasy, which not only was played in most of the film's marketing, but is played several times throughout the movie, including the credits. The song's inclusion wasn't always planned. In fact, initially, Levy and Reynolds planned on using Your Love by The Outfield, but didn't feel like it was a natural fit. Instead, Reynolds suggested to Levy that they use the Mariah Carey hit and the rest was history. To top that off, that was actually Jodie Comer, doing her own singing for when her character belts out the classic tune. I really wish you mentioned that. Yeah. One of the biggest changes made to Free Guy that wasn't in the original script was the entire personality of Ryan Reynolds' title character. In fact, in the script, Guy was portrayed as a much more cynical character, who was fed up with his simultaneously mundane and chaotic life. Instead of being the happy-go-lucky personality we fell in love with, it was Reynolds' idea to make Guy feel more comfortable and lovable, and somebody who was satisfied with his life inside of Free City. Trolls exist. One of the biggest differences from script to screen was the fact that Dude wasn't in the initial script. Instead, it was Reynolds' idea to include Dude. While initially, the film's ultimate showdown would have been entirely between Guy and Antoine. Honestly, it feels like only someone with a mind like Reynolds could come up with such a character. Catchphrase. Free Guy's ending, where Millie, aka Molotov Girl, ends up with keys was not part of the original script. In fact, in the film's original ending, Millie would have ended up with Guy, which would have been a bit weird to say the least. It was after several rewrites of the script overseen by Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds that it ended up being reworked so that the ending was more practical. This decision definitely seems like it was for the best. While many studio blockbusters don't rely too much on improvisation, Free Guy director Sean Levy greatly encouraged it on set. This group was kind of similarly inspired. Very encouraged to improvise, but also very conscious of, okay, here's the story we're telling. So I'll go off road for a bit, but I know intuitively when to bring it back and service the story. It was this kind of direction that helped make Free Guy as irresistibly charming and hilarious as it is. No, no, okay, I, I want to comply. It's so refreshing to hear what a joyous experience the cast of Free Guy had on set. Look like I'm still in the middle of the desert with nothing on but a hula hoop and a pair of leather moon boots. According to Comer, she and Reynolds had actually even gone off script during their audition. Do you have a favorite moment in Free Guy? 